Hello everybody, it's Thomas here, and it's another cold day, so I figured I may as well make a new YouTube tutorial. It's been a while. So today we're going to be going over something cool in Swift. So if you see here, I have a project with just a text field and a little button that says take picture. So I'm actually gonna be showing you how to send a text message in Swift where you take a picture and then it sends it as a text message. So I've just set up this little view controller with my text field named MSG field and my take photo button. And now the first thing we need to do in order to uh, allow this to happen is actually open up info.plist and next to information property list, we need to click the plus button and add our NS camera usage description. You'll know this worked if, at least on the newer versions of Xcode, when you press enter, changes to privacy camera usage description. Then you'll need to enter a value, which just is some random text that's going to pop up explaining why you need to use the camera. Now, if you don't actually add this usage description, you won't be able to access the camera. Uh, so it's really vital that you add this. So I'm just going to type some random text. I need to use the camera to send pictures, of course. And let's just add a little winky face. So yeah. Um, next, what we're going to want to do is, well, we need to add the method to actually take the photo and send it to the text. But it's like 100 lines of code. So I created a pretty simple uh, object class that you can access just on GitHub link below. It's called camera to text and it has some sample text right there. And what you can do is actually, let's just go right into my Xcode and you can just grab the Swift file, drag it right into your project and then use it just like that. All right, so we're just gonna copy the items. Now on our view controller where we want to activate it, we need to create a camera to text object. So I'm just gonna do let camera delegate that's what I think I'm gonna name it, equal, sorry, I'm a little bit slow, I don't wanna to make too many errors, uh, equal camera to text dot init. Now this is going to create a new camera delegate object or an object named camera delegate, which is of type camera to text. Next, we need to pass some data to camera to text. So we're gonna do camera to text dot set data. And as you can see here, there's a few um, pre-made fields. There's text, which is a string, which is literally the text message. Then there is the REC, which is the receivers, which is a string array and it's optional. And there is a subject, which is just a string and it's optional. I'm not gonna use this subject. I'm just gonna put nil. And for the receiver, I'm just going to type in a random number. Guys, do not text this number. I don't know if it's real or if it's not real, but you don't wanna bother some random person. So let's see, we're gonna make our brackets and then we're going to type in a string. Let's just do one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, one, two, three. Actually, no, that could be a real number. So I'm going to change it to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hopefully that's not a real number. Anyway, whatever. Now we're going to add our text. So we wanna use the text from the text field. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type the text field name, which is a message field, and then we're going to do dot text. Mm -hmm. But the problem here is text is an optional value. So we're gonna get an error. So we need to unwrap the dot text by using an exclamation mark, and that should fix the error. Or actually, now that I think of it, it's probably a little bit better if you're not using a text field um, to use a double question mark because that will make it so that essentially, if text is uh, nil, then it'll take some random placeholder text that you enter on the other side of the double question mark. So let's just do that right here. Delete the exclamation, add a double question mark, and then we can add in quotes our placeholder message, or you can add a se second variable that you um, previously set or something like that. So yeah, once we have that, we are going to need to set the presentation style for our camera delegate. So we're gonna do camera delegate dot um, modal, sorry, not, present, not presentation style, modal presentation style. And I personally prefer to set it equal to 
uh, over current uh, context or over full screen. So here, let's just do over full screen. Um, so, oops. So, forgive my <laughs> typos. Anyways, now we need to uh, present it. So we're gonna do present and then camera delegate and then we can do a comma and animated. I always do true. Why would you not animate it? I don't know why. Um, whatever. Maybe for if you want to do a custom animation. Um, next, okay, we prevented, we presented the camera delegate, but it's not gonna actually do anything. So what we gotta do is we gotta do camera delegate dot init camera detects. And this is actually uh, the function that's gonna start the method that will take the picture. All right, that's basically all of it. So now let's just pull out my phone and try running this project. So as you can see, we have our text field and our take picture button. So I'm just gonna enter uh, some random text message here. So my text message. And um, we are going to click on take picture. And so what this is gonna do is it's gonna give us uh, the access to camera pop up. We have to click okay, otherwise this won't work. All right. And now we can take our photo. I'm just gonna take a random photograph of my screen. Um, so let's just do that right quick. Here's actually code that I'm staring at right now. Now we click use photo. Then this is gonna create our text message and open it up with our text from the text field and our photograph. And I'm just really quickly gonna change the phone number to my own so that I can show you something pretty darn cool. And when I send the message, something cool happens. We get this cool pop-up that says message sent, your message has been sent. That only pops up when it's successfully sent. If it fails, you actually get a different pop-up. And um, if the user cancels, there's no pop-up at all. Anyways, that's basically it. I hope this video tutorial was pretty darn helpful for you. I have actually linked the GitHub project in the description and it has an MIT license, so feel free to use it on your own projects. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and have a nice day. Bye-bye.